all right pisces hello 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 you guys welcome and welcome back we are going to be doing another reading for y'all and we're going to see what is hidden from you right now that you need to know pisces okay so if you want to know what is going on behind the scenes that you should be aware of at this time to protect yourself then be sure to stick around. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already liked the video. You guys, be sure to leave me comments as well. If you would like a personal reading, the only way that you can get one is through the link to my website below. I'm not doing any other types of readings on any other platforms, but on my website. So be sure to check that out, you guys. And if you would like to gain early access to readings like this so that you can be caught up uh, on what's going on and have it first, be sure to join our circle, okay, with the link below. Also, we have ex exclusive, if I could speak, exclusive content available, but you have to be in the diameter tier. The circumference tier is great if you like to catch live readings and want to comment and contribute to the conversation. Those are uh, the tiers, but you can check them out. Let's go ahead and see what is hidden from Pisces at this time that they should know. Now, this is not going to be information that is somebody's personal business. This is going to be information that you need to know that is hidden from you at this time. Um, that you should be aware of or that you're, that you're going to be made aware of soon, but you need to be aware so that you can respond pro properly. Okay. If I could talk, like, why can't I talk? Someone may not want you to speak. What is hidden from Pisces at this time that they should be aware of guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. I want it to be clear, honey. Father, mother, God, what is hidden from Pisces at this time that they should be aware of? Okay, we have a transformation. So a change is happening that you're unaware of, uh, Pisces. This could be a change within you or a change within someone else that's taking place. We have release. Okay, so because of whatever changes are taking place within you, you're learning how to release a lot of situations a lot more easily. And then we have choose wisely. It's helping you make better decisions. We also have separation. Oh, my God. Rebel or rebel darkness. And then soul family. Okay, so what's hidden from you at this time, Pisces, is that the transformation you're going through when it comes to your spiritual growth, spiritual transformation, is helping you to make better choices. It's helping you to be more wise when it comes to the decisions that you make. Um, this could also be when it comes to you releasing things that are no longer serving you. This is like you letting people go, you letting situations go, you letting substances go, you allowing things to cycle out of your life. Even if you don't see the decision's results right away, it's like, you know, that it was the right choice regardless. Okay. And it's because your soul family is around you, helping you to resolve conflicts in your life with things that you can't see. This is you changing like how you separate your energy from people. You may not be explaining yourself to people and explaining to them why you want to separate from them. You may just be doing so. You may not um, be trying to pacify people in what it is that they've done to hurt you or what it is that they've done wrong. You're just going with the flow that you feel like you need to go into. And then conflict and deception. See what I'm saying? Any situation that causes conflict in your life, Pisces, or that causes some type of deceptive energy or feelings of confusion that you may not, you know, want to deal with. You're, you know, you're not, you're not sticking around to see. It's like, I feel like with this rebel card, you're doing things that are really unexpected to what people think you're going to do. You're making decisions that are really unexpected when it comes to what people assume about you or when it comes to the way that people look at you in situations, okay? I didn't know all those cards was going to come out, but I just took them because that's exactly what it is. You got a five here with soul family, and then you got a five here with conflict. Mm. Two, 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 three, six, seven, Someone was being deceptive towards you or you're about to find out about some type of deception that somebody had towards you or deceptive energy that someone had towards you. Um, a, a situation where someone tried to get, get one over on you or deceive you in some type of way, cause some type of conflict in your life. Or that is just the type of energy that you're easily able to release at this time because of the transformation that you've been going through 
and because of the connection that you have with your spirit guides and your ancestors and your soul family, your tribe, it's causing you to be more confident when it comes to separating your energy. You're changing the way that you separate your energy from people. Okay. It doesn't have to be a fight. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of, you know, rah, rah. Okay. You, a lot of y'all are just being very silent. A lot of you guys are just not expressing anything to people. You're not giving your energy to people at all. Okay. So what's hidden that Pisces should be aware of at this time? A lot of you guys are staying really quiet. We have the Queen of Wands. So this could be involving an Aries Leo or Sagittarius feminine energy. Okay. Oh, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Can I get one more card? What Pisces needs to know at this time? Oh my God, the Queen of Pentacles. And she was all over the place. So this could be a situation between you and your mother. This could be a situation between you and your children. This could be just two friends. Okay, if if you're a woman, this could be between you and someone you know, like a friend or someone you consider to be a friend. Okay, yep. It was shocking. Somebody lied, somebody stole from you, somebody cheated, somebody tried to get over on you. But see, they hurt themselves. Like, it, it, it's a situation where it's not even any point for you to address whatever this is, okay? This could be somebody who you found out was like a, a mistress to your spouse. Like if you're married, you could have found out that this person was cheating with your spouse. Okay. Some of you could have a friend that you found out was dealing with somebody who you were dealing with on the back end or something like that. But I really do feel like you're extremely confident with yourself when it comes to cutting people out of your life, pulling your energy back, not being distracted by things that are pointless to your life. Okay. What's this Queen of Wands? So we have the Knight of Swords and the World card. So this Queen of Wands is done talking. This Queen of Wands is not saying anything or they're not, they're not talking. Okay. This could be you. This could be someone else. I just feel like this is your energy when it comes to ending situations in your life. Yeah, somebody's not talking. Somebody's not being friendly. They're not socializing. This could be you. Okay. You're not socializing with this uh, queen of pentacles or whoever this is. This could be between you and your child. It don't matter. What's the knight of pentacles reversed? The star and the page of pentacles. Yeah. I don't know if somebody's trying to say a bunch of stuff to you to make you feel bad. But it's like shocking. It's unexpected. It's a tower. Something is being destroyed. I feel like somebody was trying to argue with you or get you into an argument. Or maybe make you feel bad about something that you said. I just feel like you see that you don't need to invest in the situation, but what's the star card? Yeah, three of pentacles. What else is the star card? The hangman in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like somebody was trying to do something here to stop your money. I don't know if this was a friend, a family member, relative, whoever. But I feel like there's a person here who was trying to distract you from your work, okay, with the hangman reverse. They were trying to cause you not to see something or they were trying to distract you from your work or they didn't want, want you to get credit for your work. But I feel like you saw the truth in the situation, like somebody was blocking your money somehow. I don't know if they were blocking your money because they were saying things to discourage you or what. But there's definitely disappointment here for somebody playing games or somebody wasting time at work. So this could be a coworker. This could be someone who you work with and they're always trying to distract you and talk to you at work. And you're like, look, I got to get my work done. And, and it could be reflecting in your progress. Like they 
they make sure they get things done. And then once they get their things done, they come and distract you while you're trying to work. So therefore, you're not getting anything done. Something like that. What's the page of pentacles? It could be a friend. We have the fool or somebody you thought was your friend. What else is the page of pentacles? You may, you may have also discovered that somebody, or you may be discovering very soon that somebody felt, um, they, they looked at you as an opportunity. Like this is an opportunist, someone who was trying to get what they could out of you. What's the page of pentacles with the fool? Yeah, the moon. Or they thought you were foolish or something. The four of pentacles and the death card. Yeah, it's like your finances changed or your money changed. Like this could be somebody who you were going out with way too much, spending too much money on drinks, food, club, whatever it is that you were doing. And it's like they were causing you to be distracted from your work somehow. Or they were causing a change in your finances in a negative way. And I feel like they secretly saw you as an opportunity or they, I don't know, they saw some type of opportunity in you because I feel like they saw you as very giving. Maybe they always had you paying for stuff, situations like that. Or this is how this person sees you. And they changed like the way you made decisions. I feel like you wouldn't have done a lot of the things that you did. Maybe you wouldn't have spent a lot of the money that you spent if they weren't right there in your ear being a bad fucking influence. Okay. It seems like if somebody was a bad influence on you. What's the queen of pentacles? This could be your mama for some of y'all. We have the emperor. Okay. What else is the queen of pentacles? The six of cups in reverse. What? This is crazy. The magician is here, though. So it could be a Gemini for sure. Could also be an Aries. An Aries, Gemini, possibly Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer. Maybe even a Virgo, Taurus. What's the Six of Cups reverse? Somebody wanted you to pay for something. That's what I feel. What else is the Six of Cups reverse? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody I feel like is struggling financially and they want you to pay for something. Or they thought that you were going to be paying for things. Or they thought that you, since you had money, that you were always going to be the one footing the bill or something like that. Somebody was counting your pockets and they wanted you to pay for something. Or they wanted you to be the one to, to have to do all the work or something like that. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. They were distracting you from working and they messed up your money. They didn't mess up your money. You allowed for them to influence you to not be productive. That's what this is. This is definitely the reason why you've been having financial issues. That's the secret is that this person is the reason for your financial issues because they're a bad influence on you and you allowed them to get too close to you or you allowed them to come into your life and throw off your financial balance, influencing you to do things. Yeah, and that tower just keeps coming out. What's the tower? Yep, four of pentacles. You're realizing it. You're realizing that as soon as you got this person out of your energy, out of your life, that your situation turned around. As soon as you let this go, they were shocked. Okay, yeah, they were confused. But see, you had more clarity. I feel like someone is very confused about why you don't want to hang around them. Because it's like your finances, as soon as you got them out of your life, your finances change. So that's what the secret is. The secret is there was somebody in your life, a friend, a family member, a coworker who secretly looked at you as a fool. And they thought that they could like get money out of you in some way because they were financially struggling or they thought that they had some type of influence over you to where they could get you to do what it is that they wanted to do. But it's like you see clearly now that you let this person go that they were the reason for your financial problems or that's what you're going to see very soon. Someone was trying to control your mood. That's what I feel with the Six of Cups. It's like 
if you were feeling good, as soon as you came around this person, you started feeling bad because they were trying to control your mood to manipulate you into either feeling sorry for them so that you would spend your money or manipulate you into going out with them because you felt sorry for them or whatever this is. But it's like they were causing you to be distracted from your work. That's what this is. Somebody was coming around, distracting you and bothering you, you know, and making you like unproductive when it comes to your work. And that's why your money has declined. So it's like spirit is trying to get you to understand that this person doesn't need to be in your life. I feel like you stopped talking to them. And when you stopped talking to this person, it caused them to be very shocked. That you let go of the illusion or something like, or, or that you're not in the mood to, you know, continue to entertain them or drink with them or whatever. This person caused you to lack motivation when it comes to your work. And you went from the Ten of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles because their energy was very depleting in your life. They may have been going through financial struggles. And that energy, that vibration was, was bleeding over into you. Okay, like I, I always used to say this uh, on the other channel. But when somebody is funky around you, you're going to be looked at as funky too. In the realm of energetic energy, okay? If I could say energy anymore, I would have some money. But it's like, if somebody in, if somebody's energy or aura or, or vibration around you is funky, you're going to be stinking too. And that's what I feel like this is. Somebody was distracting you from your work because they thought you was a sucker. That's what I feel. And you changed. What's this moon card? Sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ten of swords. Could be a Gemini. Yep. They cause a secret conflict. They feel like they can change your mind or they feel like they can influence you to do things. And that's just, no. Causing you to sabotage yourself. Mm-mm. And they betrayed you. They did something with you. They they betrayed you. They did something secretly against you. They caused some type of secret conflict in your life. Or they betrayed you in some way. What is this Ten of Swords and this Five of Wands? The Ace of Pentacles. They stopped you from getting an opportunity. What's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles? This could have been some co-worker at your job. Who spoke negatively against you to the boss for a promotion or a raise. This could have been a friend or a family member who you go out to the club with and somebody wanted to talk to you and they approached this person instead of approaching you to kind of feel you out. And this person said something bad about you or they said you were in a relationship when you're not. Or it's like they, they spoke a negative word about you so that the, maybe that person would talk to them instead or that you wouldn't have that opportunity. Somebody blocked you from having an opportunity with somebody else. What's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, Queen of Swords. What else is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles? Yep. Because they didn't want you to move on. We had the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. Yeah, this could have been some type of opportunity at work. This could have been some type of very steady relationship. This could have been love. Mm -mm. But because they thought something wasn't going to work out or because they thought something was going to end negatively or because they thought you shouldn't be doing something, they stopped you from having an opportunity in, in a situation where you're a grown person and you can make your own decision. That's crazy. Okay, you need to get back to work. What's the ooh, what's the advice for Pisces in this situation? I just couldn't let it go, y'all. Okay, what's the advice? Okay, peaceful resolution, unlikely, and yes. Okay, so the advice is don't try to like get back together with this person. Don't try to reconcile with this person because I feel like you need to get more information because if you believe something happened or you believe that they did something to hold you back in some way or you believe that they were malicious towards you um, in some way, shape, or form, I feel like Spirit is saying, yes, that is true. And yes, it's unlikely for there to be a peaceful resolution. So 
that's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope it helped. Y'all leave me comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Book you a reading because I got some new options. On the website, it's linked below in the description box. Get you some apparel. Do whatever you need to do. Join our circle so you can get early access. And I will see you guys next time, Pisces. Remember, this is our circle, booze. Bye.